Sharing a multi-tool opens up an entire world of problem-solving and empowerment. There's nothing quite as satisfying as having just the tool you need for a job, right when and where you need it. A good multi-tool gives you quick access to many useful tools in a streamlined, compact package you can fit in your pocket. Manufacturers are competing to pack more and more exciting features in their products to cram as much functionality as possible. At the same time, they try to keep the multi-tool simple enough to be used effectively in all kinds of situations. There's a broad, deep, and ever-expanding landscape of multi-tool options out there. We spent hours researching, sifting through specs, and testing tools in real-life situations to narrow down this list of the very best multi-tools on the market. We assess each model for its functions, construction, ergonomics, and portability. What we present here is intended to help you quickly and effectively make the wisest purchase for your purposes. If the AR-15 is your weapon, then this is your tool. The Real Avid AR-15 tool. The high strength stainless steel frame is clad in G10 non-slip grip plates for superior handling and durability and is packed with precision made mission specific tools to keep you and your AR in the action. The 12 function bolt carrier group scraper has a cotter pin puller making breakdown easy. This scraper has 12 precision profiles machined to match critical dimensions of the bolt, firing pin, and inside of the carrier. It scrapes off everything in its path, leaving no place for carbon to hide. When spent brass jams between the charging handle and the bolt carrier, clear it with the bolt override tool. Just drop your magazine, insert the bolt override tool at the front of the bolt, and pull back sharply. The obstruction is cleared and you're back in the game. A pin punch attached to the handle makes for easy disassembly. It detaches from an 832 threaded receiver that fits standard cleaning rods and brushes. There's a curved pick to get crud out of tight spaces. It detaches from an integrated 832 threaded post. customizing your AR, a quarter inch three position locking magnetic driver pivots from the handle. Attached to the sheath are Allen, Phillips, Torx and flat bits. Also included is an A1 and A2 front sight adjuster. The X-frame butterflies open to reveal spring-loaded stainless steel pliers with a replaceable carbide cutter. In the handle is a heavy-duty three-and-a-quarter inch Tonto-style blade made of 440 stainless steel that takes an edge and keeps an edge. The AR-15 tool lives in a Molly-compatible ballistic nylon sheath. The Real Avid AR-15 tool, the smartest tool for the world's most popular tactical platform. This is the MP1 AR. It's a multi-tool built to clean and maintain the M4 AR-15 weapon system. The heavy-duty forged jaws can withstand rigorous torque and compression. It features a pin punch for takedown pins, a contoured carbon scraper for cleaning the bolt and inside the bolt carrier, and a dental-style carbon pick for cleaning the bolt's ejector area and other hard-to-reach parts of the weapon. It holds an extended magnetic driver, which accepts standard bits. Included with the tool is a bit set with flathead, Phillips, hex, and torx, all commonly needed for adjusting optics and accessories. The bit set also includes a front sight adjustment tool for iron sights and a pin punch for trigger assemblies. Also found on the tool are full-size serrated and fine edge blades. The MP1 AR includes a Molly compatible coyote sheath. Proudly built in Portland, Oregon, this is the MP1 AR. All right, so we're gonna go over the main function of the 1911 tool. As we spoke about earlier, we have our bushing removal tool here. Um, and we're going to go through the first process of disassembling your 1911 by removing the bushing. We have our 1911 here. Obviously first, check to make sure it's clear. This weapon is in fact clear. No magazine in. So we'll start the process. Moving to the front of our pistol, we're going to utilize uh, this bushing removal tool on the front of our uh, 1911 tool. Pushing on the front and rotating clockwise slightly to start the process. Our bushing is now moved over. We don't want to move it over all the way so we don't get a spring to the face. We'll continue to push it over and this will allow the spring to come out of our 1911. Uh, that's the first portion of disassembly. From here, you would continue uh, with your standard disassembly.
All right, so we're gonna go over the specific uses of the AR-15 tool. We already have our rifle disassembled. We have our bolt carrier and all the internals out in front of us. We're gonna start off with the firing pin. We're gonna work with this front notch up front, which will fit the smaller diameter portion of the firing pin. We'll move it up and down as we rotate the firing pin to remove, on all, remove all the burnt on carbon. Moving up to the larger diameter, we'll move back to this notch here which will go up and down in the same motion, cleaning off all the burnt on carbon. That'll complete the firing pin for us. Next, we will move to the bolt cam pin. We're gonna move back to this notch here. Same process as the firing pin. We'll keep moving it up and down, going all the way around uh, the cam pin. That'll complete the cam pin for us. Now we're going to move on to uh, the bolt itself. We're going to work on the bolt tail side first. We're going to use the front portion of this tool, which will fit into the tail perfectly. We were able to rotate the bolt around the tool and clean out the inside and outside simultaneously. You might notice a little bit of scratching on the bolt, but that comes right off. Those are just shavings off the tool itself, an important point that it is in fact soft in the internal so it won't scrape them. Moving on to the bolt waist, we'll utilize the front of the tool here. Going straight into the waist and moving all the way around the bolt. Moving up to the bolt face, we're gonna start off with the lugs. The shark tooth portion of the tool here fits in between the lugs. We can work our way around the bolt, cleaning them out individually. With the bolt face itself, we'll use the front of the tool again. It fits into this portion and can be utilized to scrape around and get into all the nooks to clean out all the carbon. The final portion of this process will be the cartridge extractor on the bottom. We're going to utilize the hook front of the tool. That could fit in right behind the cartridge extractor. And scrape out anything and keep it in perfect working order. So that completes the AR-15 tool. You can reassemble your rifle um, and you are all finished. This is the Real Avid Gun Tool Max. Packed with 37 precision made tools designed to keep you in the field or on the range. A detachable pin punch rides on board for easy disassembly. Paired with a built-in tap hammer for stubborn pins. There's a detachable pick for pulling cotter pins or cleaning gunk out of tight spaces. The 832nd threaded receiver and post pivot from the handle and accept standard gun cleaning elements like rods and brushes. Flip open the scraper for scraping carbon from both flat and rounded surfaces. At the range or in your blind, use the choke tube wrench to swap out choke tubes on the fly. A magnetized quarter inch bit driver locks straight for fine adjustments or at a 90 degree angle for added torque. Included are Torx, Phillips, Flat, and Allen bits. An oversized flat blade flips from the handle for larger slots. Or there's a thin blade driver for adjusting scope windage and elevation. Plus four wrenches from 3 8 to 4 millimeters. There's a three and a quarter inch drop point knife made from 440 stainless and a bottle opener for times out of the field. This rugged compact design has G10 non-slip grip plates and folds open into a heavy-duty combination needle nose pliers with an integrated carbide cutter. The Gun Tool Max lives in a Molly compatible ballistic nylon sheath. The real avid Gun Tool Max. If you're a serious hunter or shooter, this tool's got you covered.